just got to the farm about 30 seconds ago. So she looks like she's about to have her baby any time now. Drying her off here. Just got to the farm about 30 seconds ago. It's alive. It's alive. Might have to pull it. I can't even remember how much of this I filmed for you guys. She's been in here for about a week. She looked like she was going to have her baby a week. She looked like she was overdue a week ago. And I'm supposed to be milking and feeding calves by myself this morning. And Farmer Joe just stopped by on his way to the broccoli farm. And he was gonna look at her in another fresh cow too. And I just said to him, I think there's something wrong with her baby in here. And he said, me too. And then I looked, <laughs> the dogs are still in the geo. I gotta put them up in the puppy play, puppy play pen in the haymow. So you might hear them barking in the background, but this is, this gets taken care of first. Do I have time to chuck some straw over from there? Under that? I'm busy, that's why I do. <laughs> or we could try to get her, get her to land right here. This is your first time seeing this done. Don't just willy-nilly wrap chains around their ankles. There's a special way you gotta loop it in a special spot so that it doesn't hurt their joints. Please and thank you. An extra big head. If she really goes back, you're gonna get crushed against that wall. We gotta move her. You're gonna get turned into a pancake. And then what am I gonna do? Uh, can we get this out of the way? Oh, my hand's too slippery to move. <laughs> Ah, I want her to him I did not fall in poop. I got your head, baby. Oh, praise Jesus. 
Jesus. Oh, thank you, God. I'm so glad you're alive. I was starting to worry about me. Like a rag. I'll get on the other side of you since I swear it's just me. Probably a nicer landing than we would have had if we weren't here. Boy, oh, good job, Mama. Sure perks up when I bring grain in here, though. Talking about this little horny lady. This one? What? Yeah, she's usually just like laying here being lazy when I come in in the morning and then I put in green and uh, she jumps up and acts fine. I'm glad you're feeling better. Oh, you got some afterbirth there on your horn. Can I get that for you? You don't want, you don't want to get that in your eye. Oh, well, she'll be fine. Okay, um, there's one in here. Check on that one because that one's gonna have a calf today and we don't want it to be born out there, but we're busy right here. So when you're done milking, make sure there's no baby out there, or maybe even more often than that. Yeah, for sure. Did you look at her? Did you go up close? Yeah, she was in this pen. I let her out. I put her in there overnight because nobody was gonna be here, but shoot. I let her out there so she can eat and drink. She can put her I don't know, put her in here. Later. Swap her with this one. Okay. This morning I ran out of space on my camera, so I had to delete a bunch of stuff that I decided not to put into a vlog. One of the things I deleted was a scene of having to put on a special glove. And I stuck my arm up in there. And I didn't feel a baby. And I was starting to get kind of worried. Hey, your leg don't go like that. There you go. There's some poop right there. It's okay. It probably won't kill you. Let's keep your umbilical cord clean. That's the main thing. See that? There it is. I'm gonna tuck it up inside there. So hey, mama, don't step on it. Looks like you got a long umbilical cord. Still got some congestion. You'll cough it up. You're okay. Mm. 
<laughs> you want to stand up already. Aww. Oh, mom's just bumped your head against the wall. Be careful, mama. All right, I can't sit in here and play with you guys all day. I got to go milk the other cows, Hi. feed the other calves. I'll be back soon to check on you. So I had a plan for today. It was to come back to the farm after chores and film some things between chore times when there wouldn't be any crazy dogs barking. Everyone would be fed and happy and give you a quick little tour of the barnyard. As you're about to see, we had a nice surprise here first thing in the morning instead. So I ended up filming that. And then maybe tomorrow I'll do my little tour with my special new gimbal. I didn't bring that this morning. So that's why today is gonna look a little bit less professional than my barnyard tour is gonna be, I think. So right now, I'm waiting for the cows to finish their grain. They haven't even fully come up yet to the barnyard. Hey, I'm getting ahead of myself. There's a friend behind me that's feeding, a friend of the farm that's feeding grain. <laughs> to the milk herd. And they're gonna come up out of their pasture. And when they're done eating it, I'm gonna put them in the barn and I'm gonna milk them. And then I'm gonna feed their calves. But it's going to take a while for them to get up here and eat all the grain. So I got enough time to walk over to this next door pasture. I'm going to walk out there and I'm looking for cow number 60. Because she looks like she's about to have her baby any time now. Maybe she even had it last night. She may have walked all the way out to the swamp. There's a couple different fields they can go in. This ain't scripted. I'm just kind of... I see her baby. Holy shit! <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> yep, the minute Farmer Julius go to the broccoli farm. I bet you are born the same exact moment that your that your friend was. In there. Oh, Farmer Joe's calling me again. Hang on. I called him and told him what I just found. Okay. Uh, I had called Farmer Joe and I was like, hey, what do you want me to do with this? And uh, you'll see. So like I was saying, I called Farmer Joe and he said, try to clean it off in the snow. And then he said, better yet, bring some hay down from that feeder over there and uh, put the calf on it to warm it up. And in an hour, he'll get, he'll make a break for himself at the broccoli farm and he'll come back and bring the mama up and <coughs> Okay, a little bit of shivering is normal. It's it's really not cold out. I'm fine in my hoodie. So this calf will be fine, but uh, the mom should start. Mom looks really hungry. Hopefully she'll start drying her off here in a minute. 
because it's still not warm enough out here that the baby should be wet. But once the mom starts licking her, she'll dry off pretty quick. And if not, she'll be fine for an hour till Farmer Joe can come bring her up. Yeah, being born is kind of a big deal. It's a little shocking. Doesn't she look a little shocked? She'll get used to life pretty quick though. In an hour, she'll be all dried off and standing up, trying to get her first breakfast. Where'd all the milk cows go? <laughs> they went up the hill to the barn. Wanna go take a peek at them real quick, eating the greenies? <sighs> There's my tripod. My tripod is my coat. So I didn't know what would happen to it after touching that calf. But I've got another long sleeve on under this. I'm just gonna take off and then I'll be fine with my coat. And it's not that cool though. I don't need my hoodie. And there's a heater in the barn. And there's my JJ walking. So next time, Yomi and my gimbal are gonna go for a stroll. Oh, the way he's sneaking through there. I'm gonna show you all the different parts of where all the calves are. Something like that. Because there's different ages that I haven't filmed much in my vlogs. You've seen all the little itty bitty ones in the hutches. But what happens to them after that? I will show you. You'll see. You'll all see. <laughs> I have your baby. Just got done feeding the calves their milk down in the hutches. I was about to drive the geo back up here into the barnyard that I used to haul all my stuff down there. You'll see later, you've seen some previous vlogs. And Farmer Joe called and said there's another baby being born right now in the calf barn. So he's taking a break from the broccoli farm down the road and he came back to check on her because she was in that pen right there. We knew she was going to have it soon. Maybe today. She's really progressing as you can see. Oh, head went back.
coming back in. Is it breathe or alive? I brought my new gimbal this morning. Oh well. This is gonna be a pretty amateur vlog. Talk about point of view. And for everybody that wants to complain about not wearing gloves, Pretty sure my hands are more sanitary than what I'm sticking my hand into. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Well, they just always do about vet procedures and stuff. Oh, I know. I know somebody is going to get into these comments. <laughs> Why aren't you wearing gloves? Hardly ever do. Hardly ever needed them. For the health of the baby, at least. Oh. Oh no. Paul, oh, don't look half. I don't care about your suit. This is what it looked like when I started to bring her in. Ah, uh, get, the, get the thingy off the, off the nose. It's live. He says I've got a headache. Near your eye, and get the poop out of your eye. Thank you, God, for the third time today. I think so. Not a lot. some of their milk from this morning be good in there as leftovers still tonight those first two calves you saw born are down in hutches now I don't have time to explain to you why that's the best thing for them it's really freaking loud in here man let's go down the hill and feed them their bye bye That's the state inspectors. They just showed up for a routine check. I ain't scared. You know, to the untrained eye, this place looks like a shit show. Like, man, shut them people down. Look how dirty everything is. But on small family farms, it's kind of allowed to an extent. 
the inspectors, they just understand what absolutely needs to be clean. And then aside from that, they know that you know, shit happens, man. So we usually pass, I'm not worried about it. So they're in the barn looking over everything. They come kind of often, it's normal. Where, uh, extra things going on this morning. I'm trying to remember what I'm supposed to be doing. That third baby was born to a heifer, meaning that that's her first baby she ever had and she's kind of wild. So she needs me to just kind of back off so she can calm down and not make me jump, make me make her jump around on the baby. She needs to clean it off. And we're just gonna let them two bond in there for the rest of the day, I think, instead of taking the baby right away and trying to feed it. She'll just be too riled up for that. But those first two mamas, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> those first two mamas had calves before and they knew what to do and we took their babies and then they moved on with their day and they'll be fine. So it's time to feed bottles to these guys. And then that's it for the day. There's a fourth one born, holy cow. I'll let you know. But I really doubt it. I've never seen, in all my 10 or so years on this farm, I've never seen three calves born so close together. Such beautiful births, no, compli no complications that I know of. Everybody's alive. Kind of wet. 